What's up peeps and poops and welcome back. So today we're actually going over cannabis and how it can aid inflammation. So get ready because we're going baby. Inflammation is a natural response of the body to injury or infection, but sometimes it can become chronic and cause pain, swelling, stiffness, and damage to tissues and organs. Inflammation is associated with many diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, inflammatory bowel disease, and hepatitis. Today we're going to be exploring how cannabis, a plant that contains hundreds of active compounds called cannabinoids, can help reduce inflammation and improve the quality of life of people suffering from inflammatory conditions. But its use in modern medicine is hampered by legal restrictions and a lack of scientific knowledge. However, in the recent years there's been a lot of growing interest in the potential benefits of cannabis for various health conditions, especially those involving inflammation. Cannabis can be consumed in different ways such as smoking, vaping, eating, or applying topically. They even now have them in suppository form. Cannabis products can also vary in their composition and potency depending on the strain, extraction method, and dosage. THC can also have anti-inflammatory effects by modulating the immune system and reducing the production of pro-inflammatory molecules called cytokines. THC can also interact with the endocannabinoid system, a network of receptors and molecules that regulate various physiological processes including pain, mood, appetite, and inflammation. The endocannabinoid system can be activated by endogenous cannabinoids produced by the body, exogenous cannabinoids from cannabis or other sources, or synthetic cannabinoids designed in a laboratory. By activating the endocannabinoid system, THC can help restore the balance between the pro-inflammatory and the anti-inflammatory signals in the body. CBD can also reduce inflammation by influencing the immune system and the endocannabinoid system. CBD can also enhance the effects of THC by increasing its availability and reducing its breakdown. CBD can also counteract some of the negative side effects of THC, such as anxiety, paranoia, and memory impairment. There's scientific evidence suggesting that cannabis can reduce inflammation and be able to help treat conditions that are either caused by inflammation or have it as a key symptom. For example, rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic autoimmune disease that causes inflammation and damage to the joints. Cannabis can help relieve pain and improve physical function in people with RA. Cannabis can also reduce the need for other pain medications such as anti-inflammatories and opioids. Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is a neurological disorder that causes inflammation and damage to the protective coating of nerve fibers in the brain and spinal cord. Cannabis can help reduce spasticity, pain, fatigue, and bladder problems in people with MS. Cannabis can also help improve mood and quality of life in people with MS. And have you heard of inflammatory bowel disease? Yeah, cannabis can help that too. Jumping in the middle of the video, as always, to ask you to please like, subscribe, ring the bell, coffee, Patreon. I love you guys. Back to cannabis. Inflammatory bowel disease, also known as IBD, is a group of conditions that cause inflammation and ulcers in the digestive tract. Cannabis can help reduce symptoms such as abdominal pain, diarrhea, weight loss, and bleeding in people with IBD. Cannabis can also help improve appetite and sleep quality in people with IBD. And I'm sure that we've all heard of hepatitis, right? It's a viral infection that causes inflammation and damage to the liver. Cannabis can help reduce liver fibrosis or scarring and improve liver function in people with hepatitis. Cannabis can also reduce symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and depression in people with hepatitis. And this one actually really hits hard for me because I actually have a buddy that his dad, um, who I knew very well, he was actually denied a liver because he was using cannabis to help him with his nausea. And it was the only thing that would help with his nausea. All the nausea pills that he was taking, he would say, were making him more nauseous. So, I mean, what was even the point of taking him? Now, cannabis is not a cure for inflammation or any of the diseases mentioned above. It is also not without risk or side effects. Some of the possible adverse effects of cannabis include dry mouth, red eyes, increased heart rate, 
impaired coordination, impaired memory, impaired judgment, anxiety, paranoia, psychosis, dependence, tolerance, withdrawal symptoms, and interactions with other medicines. Cannabis use may also be illegal or restricted in some areas, therefore it's important to consult with your doctor before using cannabis for any medical purpose. So with all this said, cannabis is a plant that contains many active compounds that can have anti-inflammatory effects by modulating the immune system and the endocannabinoid system. Cannabis may be able to help treat various inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, inflammatory bowel disease, and hepatitis. However, cannabis is not a magic bullet and it has potential risks and side effects. Therefore, it is very important to use cannabis responsibly. And for my strain of the week, it's actually egg roll mixed with grape gas by Good Day Farms. The top terpenes are going to be myrcene, caryophylline, limonene, and it looks like maybe a little bit of humulene with just a little bit of uh, pinene sprinkled in. Now the pinene didn't affect me in a negative way, so to me, it's a go. I will be making a video soon about the different types of terpenes that are in carts, whether it's food grade, uh, botanical, or if it actually comes from the cannabis itself. And if you guys enjoyed watching this video, if you wouldn't mind, let me please ask you from the bottom of my heart to please subscribe, like, share, and even leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. And now get ready, because here comes my handsome face. So I hope that that helps you guys understand cannabis and inflammation just a little bit better. Got a suggested video? Paste it down in the comments. Want to send some hate my way? Down in the comments. Until next time, I love you guys. Deuces.